Hello and welcome to America's Heartland. I'm Paul Ryan. Now, if any program tends to look at things from the ground up, it's this one. But today, we'll begin with a view of agriculture from the air. At least that's the way America's crop dusters see it. But the old barnstorming days are long gone. Agricultural aviation today is a high-tech, high-cost enterprise, and most definitely high-risk. Jason Schultz went to Mississippi to look at crop dusting 21st century style, and he discovered that the most excitement and the most challenges can be found about 15 feet above the crops. He works farmer hours. We're usually pretty much sun up, sun down seven days a week, so uh, we, we go as long as we need to. But Glenn Holloway doesn't have your typical agriculture job. Glenn is an ag aviator, part of an elite group of 3,500 pilots, better known as crop dusters. He's been doing this for about 20 years. I uh, started working for a flying service, uh, loading airplanes, and I uh, thought that looked kind of fun, so I started taking lessons and, and got a couple of breaks here and there, and just kept right on, right on, right on. I always wanted to be a crop duster. Whether he's spreading fertilizer 40 feet in the air or spraying pesticide about 12 feet off the ground, accuracy is critical. 10 to 12 feet is the, is the optimum height. It gives your uh, spray pattern the, the room that it needs to develop and, and, the, and give you the optimum coverage that you desire. GPS positioning equipment keeps Glenn within inches of his flight path. It's his job to make sure the stuff that he's spraying doesn't stray into another farm field or onto someone else's property. From this vantage point in a helicopter from up above, Glenn looks a lot like an artist, but he's painting a canvas at about 140 miles an hour. If this looks dangerous, it's because it is. Crop dusting ranks in the top three dangerous jobs in the United States right up there with fishing and logging. Not only does Glenn have to be accurate with his spray path, he's got to look out for obstacles, things like irrigation rigs, trees, telephone poles, and cell towers. He's had his share of close calls. Well, I've had a few engine failures and had to put some down in some places that weren't really, weren't really uh, conducive to landing, but uh, we've, we've, we've had a couple of close calls. I'm working on my sixth or seventh life, I think. Out of nine. Kidding aside, the agriculture aviation industry has been working to improve safety and reduce the number of plane crashes. Of course, there's an inherent danger that comes with this line of work. According to Glenn, safety is in the hands of the pilot. It can be as dangerous as you make it. You know, uh, you take chances and then it could come back to haunt you. But uh, if you mind your manners and do what you're supposed to do, more than likely you, you'll make it through okay. The biggest threats to crop dusting these days, besides cell phone towers, are residential communities spreading into once all rural farming areas. Folks build a new house next door to a quiet farm field, and early one morning, Glenn flies by. And they see us, and, and they don't really understand what actually what we are doing and the benefits that we do offer, and, and they tend to uh, uh, be frightened. The industry is trying to ease concerns among non-farming folks about chemical drift and inform them about just how important crop dusting is to agriculture. That includes this catchy radio jingle about crop dusting. Now there's foreign invaders on American soil. They're eating up the profits of the farmer's sweat and toil. In the war against the bully, worm and mite. Your local crop duster is itching for a fight. So the next time you see them swooping down at 140 miles an hour, four feet. For his part, Glenn is happy to have built a successful business and looks forward to handing the controls to the next generation of ag aviators. In fact, his 19-year-old son plans to follow in his dad's flight path and be a crop duster too. Remember they're not done till the pests are on the run. They're flying to keep our country bug free. 